Oh my goodness. Hey you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Cynthia or you can call me Sin. I've missed you guys so much. So, 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 so much. Um, it's been some time. Clearly, I look different. I feel amazing and I hope you guys have been too. So in this video, we're going to do a life update, which is perfect because if you are new to this channel, this is the perfect place to start. It's been some time. Um, I think the last time I vlogged was on my birthday of this year, which was February 10th. Um, and today is like mid-October, so there has been a lot of growth, a lot of changes, and I'm excited to kind of give you guys a little life update. And yeah, like, let's just dive in. <laughs> so... In this time, I have been growing my relationship with God. I'm going to say Jesus, just so we are clear, okay? Um, I have been growing my relationship. I have been respecting my convictions. Um, I have been seeking God for all things and leaning on God for strength. Um, so that's what I've been up to, to be very honest. And just being disciplined um including my prayers daily like god give me discipline to have faith in you right um so i've been in a space where i've just been letting go and letting god even in my prayers i say god remove all things that is not you know of you clear my path and order my steps so that's really the bulk of what i've been up to um I've been doing a lot of self-development, you know, it's just beautiful to see like God really just developing me. I used to dream about me becoming this person and then God is like, no, I got you. <laughs> just trust me. And, and I've been finding so much joy, so much joy, so much peace and just like everything, the little things and um, learning myself as a woman, I'm becoming her she me and i thank god for that last we spoke was my birthday like i mentioned and i think what happened was i went to cameroon was it Mar yeah in march of this year i did vlog that so i'll insert some clips from my trip in this video i went to cameroon for about a month and um a little over a month i want to say I had nothing to do and I was ready to just to go okay to get out of America so for those of you guys who may not know I am a hundred percent Cameroonian I was born in Douala so I came back home to Cameroon to ground myself um, I am currently in Bafusam at my parents house and I am just you know doing some um self grounding i feel like my life is taking like huge shifts and i could literally feel that this year like this year is going to be major for me um so i figured i come back and i'll ground myself i'll spend time with family um get to see my grandma because um i needed to see my grandmother really bad um a lot of people don't know but she has been extremely sick the last few years and it got to a point where I was like man am I gonna ever see her again Um, you guys could probably hear my voice I'm a little sick <laughs> um, traveling tends to get me a little bit sick sometimes I've been here for a week so I went from Douala to Yaoundé and now I'm in Cameroon and now I'm in Bafusam where my parents live and I'll just be here grounding myself, connecting with myself and I'm excited about this um, trip. 
um, you know, very limited Wi-Fi. So I'm, it's really just me and my Bible, y'all. Like, when I say it's literally just me and my Bible, just me and my Bible. Um, grounding myself, getting my thoughts together. I've been deleting a lot of stuff on my phone, like pictures and phone numbers and text threads, and just releasing and letting things go. Um, and I feel like I have like such a clear head already and I've only been here for a week, but I don't really have that much distractions. Like there's no Wi-Fi. Um, I'm not gonna say there's no Wi-Fi because there is Wi-Fi, it's just not as convenient as it is in the US. So, I'm doing a lot of detachment and I'm trying to pick up new habits of not being on my phone so much and just being present. Um, I really feel like the only child right now. <laughs> I have two siblings, but they are not physically here right now. Um, my little sister is back in Richmond and my brother, he's in Douala and I saw him when I first got here, he picked me up from the airport and we spent some time together last week. But um, now my parents' house and it's just me and my mom and my dad. So um, I'm just spending time with my parents, mainly my mom. And my mom just opened her clinic. I'm so proud of her. She left, um, she left Northern Virginia and permanently moved back home and opened a clinic within a year, y'all. And I'm just so proud of her. I get to go to her clinic and watch her teach young girls. And it is just, it's really good to see. And like, you know, the little, the girls love her. Like the girls love my mom. Cause who does not love my mom? Like she is, she's amazing. But um, I'm rambling. It was such a beautiful time. Um, I did a lot of, my, I spent a lot of my time out in nature. I had my mama stop the car because the view is fantastic. In the midst of sacrifice. So this is a interesting hike. I'll tell you guys why later. Covered by the blood of Jesus, okay? Mm -hmm. That's why you I got a chance to be with my grandmother and my grandmother um, raised me. So it was just such a beautiful time, a beautiful moment. She had no idea I was coming. I was surprising her and she has been sick for some time now. So um, when I showed up, <laughs> y'all, my grandmother can't walk right now, um, you know, due to her sickness. And when I showed up, this lady tried to get up and walk. I, I said, Grandma. <laughs> so it was just so beautiful. It was an amazing time, a good time to just spend with her. And um, I'm going to share this with you guys, like my last night with her. And I slept in her bed. And I just can remember throughout the night, just like when I was little. Because like, I used to like, y'all, I was... <sighs> I was a grandma girl, okay? Uh, when I was little, I would just sleep in the bed with my grandma. And just like when I was little, she kept on putting the covers over me and like she'll pat me. Like, <laughs> I don't wanna cry, but she'll pat me. Um, she was patting me through the night. And it's just kind of like, you know, with everything that she has going on, she still has that motherly um, instant, right? And it was just so beautiful and I do not mean to cry so let's it was just so beautiful and um, thankful that I had that moment with my grandmother it was it was such a moment 
And also what came back from Cameroon with me, um, my family dog, Skyla. Hey mama. So I'm gonna get, come here. Come here, baby. I'm gonna introduce, <laughs> introduce you guys to Skyla. This is my girl. We have been rocking it out. Come here, my girl. Just look at my baby. She just so cute. Come here, mama. Ah. She's trying to get over this table. Hey, baby. She hi. She was just taking a nap. I'm trying to get to. Say hi, mama. Hey, hey, baby. She was just taking a nap, y'all. But um. I brought Skylar back with me because when she saw me when I first got to Cameroon and she saw me, my mom was like, there's no way you're not bringing her back with you because she would not, she's literally my shadow now. She just watches me and I, I was just like, God, like, should I just take her back? And she's a Shih Tzu, so her breed was not doing too good, doesn't do too good in like the heat. Um, so I brought her back with me and she has been such a blessing. Um, I have a big nurturing side and I was, I've been able to cater to that because I love to nurture and that's what I've been learning about myself. I love to take care. So, um, She's been allowing me to really cater to that by just taking care of her, loving on her. And it's like an emotional, I feel like it's an emotional support. Hey, mama. Hey, baby. What's your matter, mama? What's your matter, mama? She's so cute. I love her so much, you guys. You're just the cutest baby. You're just the cutest baby. Yes, you are, mama. She just loves being next to me, y'all. And it comforts me. Um, but yeah, you guys. So Cameron was good. Um, it was good to be there. Sometimes I feel like I can't think straight because I am not in my birthplace, if that makes any sense. So just being in Cameroon was amazing. Um, even my name pronunciation. I feel like I had two identities, like, which is so crazy. At home, my name is Cynthia. And then outside of the house, it's Cynthia. And that's what like America tends to do, right? They like, they kind of like, I feel like Cynthia is my American name, but my real name is Cynthia. Like that's, that's my name. That's the pronunciation of my name being French speaking. Like my family calls me Cynthia. And then every time I leave the house, it was Cynthia, Cynthia. Then it got to a point where I was just like, no, just call me Sin because I'm not really sure if um, I want to continue to correct that. But I realized I was catering and people pleasing too much because I wanted to make things so convenient to people that I wasn't even being called the right name, right? So I'm back to either my name is Sin or Cynthia and I'm not going to people please anymore and allow people to call me something that's not my name. Like Cynthia is not me. She's not her. It's not who I am. So, um, yeah, just being true to myself and just, you know, just really embracing every aspect of myself and that includes my name. And I'm going to say my name one more time is Cynthia, Cynthia, French speaking, the Cha. Back in July, I publicly professed my love for Christ. Um, I got rebaptized because I was baptized when I was younger, but I know a lot now compared to when I was younger. Um, although I grew up, you know, knowing who God is like now I know who, who God is I've had encounters with God so in July it was just such a beautiful moment um it was really random it was a conversation with God and I like should I do it today should I do it now and just how he orchestrated that day to remind me that he was with me was so beautiful I'm happy to share that story if you guys are interested but um so much has been happening I've just been so much more intentional some really cool things if I may say so myself um so my time in Cameroon kind of my time in Cameroon was literally where I sat down I planned like what are my goals um 
I know I pray these prayers, but what am I going to do to get there? What are your passions, right? And I'm going to share one of my prayers with you. One of my prayers is to get paid for living my life. Um, and in that sense, it doesn't mean just me being lazy. It's just in a sense of when I envision myself and I see myself as a mom and a wife, right? I do not see myself working corporate. And I have not felt, I have felt this way for for a few years now, like I don't see myself working corporate as someone's wife and as someone's mom. However, I do want to do things that I'm super passionate about. And I also feel like that is why God <laughs> blessed me with a layoff. Um, I've been able to just really dive deep in like what are the things that I enjoy, what are the things that I love and desire. And I started my own business um, called Black Girl Friendly. It's just a space for a black woman to come get together and network with other professionals and they can make, you know, professional relationships or just personal relationships as well. So ever since I started Black Girl Friendly, God has blessed me. All my events have sold out. And when I say God is in everything, y'all, please believe me. Like, God is in everything. I pray a lot. I believe in my business so much. Um, I did share about my affirmation cards um, around my birthday. So I still have that going on. And I tend to sell my cards at these events. So God is good. <laughs> um, and this is a big one. This is a huge one, okay? You guys, I got my real estate license um, for the state of North Carolina. And when I tell you, everything that God does makes so much sense. Had I not been laid off, I wouldn't be chasing my passions as much as I have. Um, I passed my North Carolina real estate license test um, on the first try. Um, the class was harder than the actual test. <laughs> um, North Carolina is, I think they said the second hardest state to pass. Um, it's a title theory state. So you guys, for months, I was very heads down and focused on just passing this test. So. I'm super excited to say that I passed my real estate license test um, and I am affiliated with a firm that I absolutely love. Um, I will share who when I get announced later, but I am affiliated. So that just shows you guys how much I love Charlotte, North Carolina. Like literally God placed me here. I moved to Charlotte after just one visit and I purchased a home. I love everything about the city. Every time my family member comes to visit, like, I'm like, look at this, look at that. I don't know if you guys know, but I used to be a leasing consultant for high profile clients back in Northern Virginia. And I just loved how I felt when I was showing those apartments, like selling the apartments. I just loved being able to like help people find a home. Um, so now, I get to do that again on a bigger scale, which is super cool. Um, and I'm so excited about it. And I just can't wait to share like this journey with you guys. Um, I'm back in corporate. <laughs> I'm back in corporate America after a year and some change. Um, and when I say God has kept me, you guys, I want to leave you with this. Sometimes I ask myself, like, girl, you really went a year, over a year in America with a house, a car no bills during inflation, and you never needed for anything. Um, that's God, right? And I've learned God prepares us for things that we don't even see coming. Um, he's very intentional and very diligent 
and how he orchestrates things and I could I get emotional because it's like sometimes I can't believe I did over a year <laughs> without income right um, but then I remember like who God is and he really did prepare me for this time and he gifted me in such beautiful ways in this time of not being employed right but he reminded me like all those times you were saving this was the rainy day all those times you were frugal this was the rainy day all those times you said no this was the rainy day <laughs> like it's just it just blows my mind how god works like so this was the rainy day um so if god is telling you to save for a rainy day listen listen because he might be elevating you in life and he might need to take that time to just be you and him and i'm so grateful because there was a point while me being laid off i just felt so tired i just felt so tired i felt like for two to three weeks i was just so fatigued and um then I realized God just wanted me to rest because I'm about to be so busy. Um, <laughs> I'm about to be so busy. I am so busy. But I have found so much joy, peace, and just thanksgiving, right? And to just everything that's happening in my life, where my life is going, the things that is going to happen to my in my life. I'm just so thankful. Um... I'm thankful for God to allow me to experience this in such a beautiful way. So I came to a point in my life where now I could truly say I am fearless, right? Before, I feel like it was a facade. I, didn't, I don't think I was as fearless as I wanted to believe I was. Or I definitely did not have it all together, but it was more fearful right fearfulness like I was walking in fear because a lot of things that I would do was if I don't do this then I won't have this or this won't work but now I'm fearless because I know God does not give me the spirit of fear and I know whose I am and when anything feels like it's above me I just remind myself who's beside me and God reminds me that he's right beside me so um I'm just so thankful to just have that understanding now. With me turning 30 soon, I just want to make sure that I am the best person that I can possibly be. Like, I know they say nobody's perfect, but I'm going to try. Uh, it was so good catching up with you guys. I am... I'm excited. I'm excited to bring you guys on this part of my journey as I'm stepping into my 30s as a business owner, two businesses at that. I am so excited to take you guys on like house tours and bring you guys to my black girl friendly experiences and you guys can kind of see some of the behind the scenes of the things that it takes to to get there. Um but above all, I'm super excited. Like if you are new to this channel, this is literally the perfect time to subscribe. Like this is the perfect time to join the fam bam. I'm looking super forward to like connecting and starting to see some familiar faces in the comments and just growing with you all. Um, so yeah, go ahead and subscribe to my channel like comment share and subscribe <laughs> it's been a while y'all but i am looking forward to seeing you guys in my next video bye